Place equal 4 inch length of light body rubber base catalyst and base on the mixing pad. Mix until homogeneous. Distribute the material uniformly in the tray using a small cement spatula. Cover the borders 2 to 3 mm onto the labial and buckle surface of the tray. Remove the gauze from the patient's mouth. Standing to the right of and in front of the patient, reflect the patient's cheek with a mouth mirror and rotate the tray into the patient's mouth. Instruct the patient to open his or her mouth widely and lightly protrude the tongue and lick the upper lip from one corner to the other. Hold it in position with the index and forefinger with enough pressure to keep the tray seated. The vestibular tissues may be briefly and lightly border molded for about 30 seconds after the tray has been seeded. Allow the material to set. Remove the final impression. Inspect the impression to determine if it's acceptable. Checklist for the mandibular final impression. The labial and buccal borders are fully recorded. Retromolar pad covered. Retromylohyoid area covered. No tray showing through the impression material. Lingual, labial, and buccal freni correctly recorded. Using a sharp scissor, trim the excess impression material. Remove any unsupported impression material which would distort when the impression is poured, especially in the lingual flange area.